Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to answer a question. Question is, what are the best practices to configure TempDB? Well, I have written down some points for you. Uh, if you wanted to know a lot more detail, uh, TempDB is very busy database in SQL Server. Uh, special consideration needs to be made when it comes to TempDB. Um, I have written some points right here. Size of the TempDB should be considered with regression testing. You should do the testing uh, in dev and test. You need to know the transaction um, uh, uh, per second on, on your uh, uh, SQL Server. You need to know how many, um, uh, the, the nature of the queries. If the queries uh, are doing a lot of sorting, a uh, lot of um, um, aggregate functions, a um, lot of uh, temp tables, uh, then you can bet that uh, uh, tempdb is going to be really busy and it's, it needs a, a, a bigger space. And the second point up here is tempdb should have enough data files and those files need to be sized. Uh, one thing that uh, a lot of folks forget, they do assign the data files uh, to tempdb, but they don't size them. So please don't forget to size them, otherwise um, uh, it'll be more pro pro problematic than uh, um, you know useful. Auto growth should be configured and shouldn't be limited because um, you need to consider uh, tempdb uh, the growth on its own. Uh, make sure that you uh, uh, configure enough space for tempdb in the beginning because you don't want tempdb or SQL Server engine to actually go into auto growth. Let's say that you have configured one MB, you know, it's going to fill up real quick and every time uh, SQL Server goes for auto growth and grab more space, uh, it's a, a lot of overhead for SQL Server to go and does that physical read and assign that size. So make sure that uh, you configure your tempdb uh, enough space in the beginning a and again always plan temp db size and growth on every implementation especially production so these are the few points uh, best practices uh, to configure temp db there are a lot more detail you can go on uh, microsoft book online and read about uh, best practices to configure temp db there are a lot of articles out there but these are the uh, uh, a few main points that uh, every article will talk about and Microsoft does talk about that too. I hope I answer the question.